When it comes to Christmas Day, she'd be the first person up in the house. She's very excitable, very eager. I think she'd get up and crack a door, do twice the amount of work she normally does. <laughs> she'd be plucking geese and God knows what. It's time for him to get really, really drunk with all his mates and he'll give himself two days of that and then it'll be back to work building his shepherd empire. She'd just spend the whole day running around and playing tricks, hopefully on Mary, <laughs> um, on Eliza. Something to do with dinner, a trick being played probably, yeah, and not being any help at all with Hamlet. <laughs> playing with Judith, messing with Susanna, having a good time, eating food. He would go to the Guild Chapel or the Holy Trinity Church and celebrate Christmas there with the Stratford community. Watch the kids open the presents in the morning, the cup of hot chocolate, get really competitive at uh, charades. I feel like he'd be really good at charades. I think audiences should come to see Hamlet this winter because the themes of the play are very much about love, about family, um, about spending time with people you care about and that's kind of what the festive season's all about. I do think it actually does have a rather seasonal feel about it. I think it's a real uh, treat, it's a feast for the eyes and, and it's a real roller coaster of a show. It's just a really beautiful story. Mm -hmm.